trusting in the word of life given in baptism, we are gathered here today in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. It is time to wake from sleep. Salvation is near. Let us make confession to our God. You can stand or, or, or sit down or kneel as you are able. Faithful God, we confess that in thought, word, and deed, we have turned away from you. We have not eagerly expected your coming. We have been slow to serve you and our neighbor. Restore us, God of might. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Amen. Lay aside the works of the night. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen your hearts, for God is with us to save us from our sins. Almighty God, grant you forgiveness, keep you in the grace of Christ Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, fill you with joy and hope. Amen. Beloved of God, called to be saints, grace, mercy, and peace be with you all. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Please join me in the prayer of the day. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come. Take away the hindrance of our sins and make us ready for the celebration of your birth, that we may receive you in joy and serve you always. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. We all are part of the Christmas story. Listen to this. The New Testament reading from Romans chapter 1, verses 1 through 7. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, one set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, the gospel concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the flesh, and was declared to be Son of God with power, according to the Spirit of holiness, by resurrection from the dead. Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom we have received grace and apostleship, to bring about the obedience of faith among all the Gentiles, for the sake of his name, including yourselves who are called to belong to Jesus Christ. To all God's beloved in Rome who are called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Here ends the reading. We all are a part of the Christmas story. Hear the Holy Gospel as written in Matthew 1, 18 through 25. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. 
her husband Joseph, being a righteous man, a man filled with God's grace, and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife but had no marital relations with her until she had born a son, and he named him Jesus. Here ends the Gospel reading. so excited. I know what you mean. Only a few more days and we'll finally be able to light the center candle. I can't wait till Christmas. I've been thinking about Christmas since Halloween. I've been thinking about Christmas since the 4th of July. Thinking about Christmas since the 4th of July. Thinking about the people. Did they laugh? Did they cry? Were they scared or excited? I don't mean to pry, but I've been thinking about Christmas since the fourth of July. Christmas is a wonderful time. The best time of the year We love the stories and the songs When Christmas time is here But sometimes when I'm alone I wonder now and then How it must have felt To be person back then I've been thinking about Christmas since the 4th of July Thinking about the people, did they laugh, did they cry? Were they scared or excited? I don't mean to pry, but I've been thinking about Christmas since the 4th
I'm late. My mom threatened to leave without me if I wasn't ready in five minutes. And I couldn't find my good shoes. I finally found them under the bed. But then when I'd gotten downstairs, she'd already left without me. So I had to run all the way here. You ran and... How many times did you trip over your own feet? Only once. But then I ran so fast that I started hyper, hyper... Hyperventilating. Yeah, that's right. And then I... Spare us, Matt. Just get to work. If we're going to finish these pictures in time for the program today, we had better get busy. Does everyone know what they're supposed to be drawing? I'm doing the angels and the shepherds and the manger. I'm doing the journey to Bethlehem. I'm doing the wise men. What are you doing, Matt? Huh? Oh, I haven't decided yet. Mine's going to be a secret, a surprise. A serendipity. Yeah, that too. You know, you guys, I've been thinking. Ooh. That's not funny. I'll bet the first Christmas wasn't like it is now, all fast and crazy and everything, with everyone rushing around trying to get all their presents bought trying to bake all their cookies, chop down their trees, and get ready for the Sunday School Christmas program. Matt, of course the first Christmas was different. They didn't know it was the first Christmas. Well, I knew that. I just mean, well, you know, there's always so much to do. Disconcerting. Disconcerting? It means... Taxes. No. It means... No. I mean that's what I'm going to draw. Taxes. I've been trying to think of something that would make Mary and Joseph seem real. I mean, don't you ever... Or didn't you ever wonder if they got excited or did crazy things? I want my picture to be real. That's why I'm going to draw taxes. Matt, you're weird. Christmas has nothing to do with taxes. Nobody pays taxes until April. <laughs> well, that's all you know. Everybody's always been paying taxes, even Adam and Eve, because taxes are real. My dad says they're the realest thing in the world. I'm positive Adam and Eve did not pay taxes. Sure they did. I bet that's why they got kicked out of the Garden of Eden, because they didn't pay their taxes. Matt, that's just ridiculous. I've got a question, and 
No smart stuff, Matt. What's myrrh? It's a reddish brown gum that comes out of a tree. Why don't you forget the myrrh and put in the good stuff, like gold? Everybody needs money, even back then. Why don't you put in modern things? Make it more real. That would be an anachronism. I knew that. You know, suppose you were the wise man and you had to make a choice. Or suppose right now you could give a gift to the whole world. What would it be? Well, that's easy. Money. I'd give everybody a home. I'd make everybody healthy. Well, I've got a better one than all of you. I give everyone peace for Christmas. their paintings? Yep. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Matt, you haven't done one thing. I'm sorry. Jody, read the story again. Maybe I'll get an idea. Well, where's the Bible? There's one in the pulpit. And it came to pass in those days, they went a decree out from Caesar. Well, that's the journey. I've done that one. Okay, let's see. And they were in the same country, shepherds abiding. That one's mine. Okay, let's see. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, there came wise men from the east. Uh, no, the wise men are mine. Do Rudolph. <sighs> it, wait! It, wait, I've got a spectacular idea! It's too late. We're supposed to line up with the choir right now. You go. I'll be there. This is such a great idea. I can't believe I thought of it. Time to get ready, Matt. Come on. We're lining up downstairs. Are you ready? Not exactly. I have a great idea, though. I'll be there. I promise. Okay. You better go down.
He doesn't have anything drawn on there yet. <sighs> Why? Why? Every year it's the same thing. I say, sure, I'll direct the Christmas play. Sure, I'll get them all ready. <sighs> I must be crazy. When they asked me to direct the Christmas play, I said, are you out of your mind? Then I said I'd lead the Christmas play. Was I out of my mind? I planned and planned every movement, word, and song. How could everything go so very wrong? How could everything go so very wrong? Now the wise man says to the other guys, Do you know what I say? How could he forget his only line? He said, Do you know what I say? A star, a star, everyone's a star till rehearsal. You don't know where they are. Till rehearsal, you don't know where they are. Now the shepherds come in wearing bathroom robes. Do you see what I see? Why can't they keep those bathrobes closed? Do you see what I see? It's green, it's green, his underwear is green. Now this play is rated PG-13. Great, now this play is rated PG-13. Now the angels are flying all around. Do you hear what I hear? An angel is screaming upside down. Do you hear what I hear? The rope, the rope, it's caught up in her gown. Will someone go up and cut her down, please? Will someone go up and cut her down? Now the candles come in by the choir. Do you smell what I smell? A soprano has set her hair on fire. Do you smell what I smell? Though she's not harmed, she set off the fire alarm. Now they're screaming and running for the door. Now the crowd is running for the door. Now I'm exhausted from the night. Do you hear what I say? Read my lips, you need to get this right. Do you hear what I say? Look here, look here, I'll make this very clear. I will not do this play another year. Ah, who am I kidding? I said that last Christmas. Well, at least it only happens once a year. Never fear, I'll be here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the wonder of Christmas. This celebration includes all of us, our Sunday school children, our senior choir, our bell choir, even our youth band today was part of it. And you will get to be a part of it as well at the very end, and we'll let you know when that time comes. You're going to listen to the familiar Christmas story as it is told to you through the eyes of our children, and you'll get to hear some of your favorite and my favorite Christmas carols along the way as well. So sit back and enjoy the wonder of Christmas.
And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world shall be taxed, and all went to be registered, every one to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house of lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was pregnant with a child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn.
And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. And the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign to you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing or when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass which the Lord has made known to us and they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger and when they had seen him they made widely known the saying which was told to them concerning this child and all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen as it was told to them. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, 
Wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born, king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And he gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, and inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. And they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it was written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judea. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from what time the star appeared. And, when, and he sent them to Beth, Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship him also. <laughs> when they heard the king, they de when they heard the when they had heard the king, they departed. And behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them until it came and stood over the place where the young child was. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary's mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented him with gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Wait! I'm here! I'm, I'm here! I'm here! Am I too late? Well, Matt, I see that you finally made it. Have you finished your picture? Yes, and it's the best picture yet. Wow, oh, cool. There's me. Look it's our church, the Christmas look party. It. Oh, look at, yeah, there's Jordan. Well, what is it? Whatever it is, it sure doesn't look like Bethlehem. Well, of course it's not Bethlehem. It's our church, and it's all of us, because we're all a part of the wonder of Christmas. Every time we read the story and sing the songs, we become part of the miracle, right? Yes, Matt, you're absolutely right. We're all a part of Christmas. you have a pretty good idea. I like that. You know what? I put it in the bulletin even, just on the hope that we would sing it together. So if we all turn in our bulletin, we're going to make room for our kids right by us too. So moms and dads, we're going to let the littlest ones come find you from the first row here. So why don't you come find your moms and dads and go sit with them so we can all sing the song together because we're all a part of Christmas, aren't we? And then I tell you what, stay with mom and dad through the end of worship. And after you're done with worship today, make sure you go back and get your belongings and your goodie bags from your Sunday school classrooms, okay? Come on, you can find moms and dads and families. Teach them the song. Sing it out nice and loud with them, okay? Let's sing the song from the top all together. 
Here we go. We're all a part. wonderful program. You guys did all such a great job, and it's true, we are all a part of the Christmas story, every one of us here at First English. And every year the Sunday school kids p play a part in the Christmas story by collecting money in little banks for a worthwhile cause. We're up here to tell you about this year's cause. I wondered what animal it would be this year because last year it was give a pig for Christmas, but the year before that it was give a fish for, for Christmas, but this year... Adam, what are you doing? I'm a book maniac in motion. That's the theme for this year. Adam, it's not book maniac. It's book mania. Whatever. I still know what we're doing. We're collecting money to buy textbooks for the library in Senegal. That's where our missionaries, the Grohansons, live. I have lots saved in my little library. And you can give books too. There's a box in the Sunday School office labeled Books for Senegal. They need new and used literary classics. Hmm, I wonder which classic I should give. Adam, Captain Underpants is not a classic. <laughs> <laughs> we put our money in these little libraries, but you can put yours in, these, in those special envelopes. You can put your envelope in the collection plate during the offering or leave it at the door when you go. Merry Christmas! All we have, all we are, and all we hope to be belongs to you, our God and King. We offer now our gifts of treasure to be used to continue and increase the experience of your kingdom here on earth.
pray. God of abundance, we bring before you the precious fruits of your creation and with them our very lives. Teach us patience and hope as we care for all those in need until the coming of your Son, our Savior. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. O wisdom, come, fill us with your presence that the church everywhere may taste Christ's presence in word proclaimed, bread broken, and wine poured. O giver of joy, hear our prayer. O ruler of nations, come, Unite the peoples of every continent so that hatred and division may be no more. Teach our world's leaders the ways of peace. O giver of joy, hear our prayer. O Lord of might, come. Fill us all with respect for your law and even greater love for your grace. That like Joseph, we may treat others with the same mercy we receive from you. O giver of joy, O day spring, come. Remind all who endure the night time of suffering that the day of your love and care dawns upon us. Comfort all who wait for healing and hope. Especially Rita Cappert, Dolores Molinsky, Sidney Bailman, Keaton Blau, Florence Jurgens, and Dorothy Heisler. O giver of joy, O key of David, come. Open wide the doors of this congregation that all of us as individuals may feel welcomed by one another and that each of us will welcome guests with warmth and hospitality. O giver of joy, O Emmanuel, come. Fill us with the undying hope that comes to all who know that God is with us. We give thanks for the faithful saints who now dwell in God's presence forever. O giver of joy, into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now as a sign of our Christian unity, please hold hands with your neighbor and join me as we pray the prayer Jesus gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you and scatter the darkness from before your path. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen.